So now we start a hybrid. Now, everything here, I'm gonna show you what you could do with bands when you don't have a home gym. Now with a home gym, I'm gonna assume you have dumbbells and a rack. That's all we're gonna use, dumbbells and a rack. Katie, you have a rack, right? A very impressive rack. Look at this rack, it's impressive. So anyway, one thing we all don't have at our home gyms, a lot of us don't, is a lap pull down machine, is a tricep press down machine. So I'm gonna show you all with home gyms. See, now this applies to not only people without any home gym, but also people with home gyms. So this is a new series, we're going beyond. All right, we're going beyond. So anyway, anyway, guys, I've had access to this facility, but I want to do at least a few weeks with y'all with only bands to show you you're not gonna lose any gains. In fact, I came back yesterday and did 100 pound dumbbells for 30 reps, easy. I've actually gained strength. And also one thing we're gonna do with this gym, you can't do much for legs, so we're gonna squat every single day, either pre or post workout. Today we're focusing on back, big muscle group on all the energy going to that. So anyway, lap pull downs. If you have a band, what's your band got to do with me? That song was just on. I'm not trying to hear that, see? If you, if you have a band, this can be done anywhere. I'm gonna to attach to the top and I'm gonna sit down. Again, you can do this kneeling, standing, whatever you have. Come here, pull down, one. The squeeze at the bottom is amazing. All right, so for this, four sets, 12 to 15 reps. So now we're gonna do one arm row. I wanna warm up completely before we get into doing some hardcore lifts, right? So. Remember this one? See, we haven't even touched the iron yet, guys. A lot of people, just as many people as who are using bands, are asking me what to do with their home gym. So I figured this would be a good thing. So for everything we do with the weights, I'm gonna give you something to do with the bands. We haven't even, we haven't even touched weights yet though, so don't worry about it. Because there's only so much you can do with racks. Anyway, for this I want you to do four sets of 10 to 15 reps. So I could literally give you guys my big five training program and tell you to shut the fuck up. But we have bands now, we're gonna have fun with it. So check it out. So what was my big five? Squats, deadlifts, overhead press, chest press, and barbell row or penlay row. We're gonna do a dead stop barbell row, or you call it penlay row. People argue penlay row is a little bit different. Ah, I'm not a scientist. Just take the weight, try not to use a lot of body English, and pull that shit up to about your waist, okay? That's it. Let's not get overcomplicated with it. Let's not get all crazy. We're gonna use proper form. But as it gets heavier, you can use a little bit of body English. Anyway, we keep a moderate weight. We're gonna do four sets of eight to 12 reps. So again, you want your, take your, here's how you find your grip. Take your hands where they rest naturally. Boom, there's your fucking grip. All right, for me, it's right when the knurling starts. Grab it. done this before take the band the bands that make her dance okay same thing come in here boom boom all right so what are you doing bands or weights four sets eight to twelve reps so we are going to do t-bar rows now got a barbell version with the landmine and a non barbell version for this one you just grab it all right, this position, bring it up. Bring it up and squeeze, elbows in, bring it up and squeeze, boom. So you're gonna do that, or if you have a landmine, you do this. A lot of you guys at home gyms, put that shit in the corner, whatever it takes, right? Put the attachment on, whatever attachment your choice is, boom. And eight. 
So for this, I want to see you do four sets. Again, high volume, eight to 12 reps. So for every movement we do, I'm going to show you a weight alternative and a band alternative. And sometimes there will be no weight alternative unless you have pulleys and all that shit. So we're going to stick to the essentials. Weight rack, dumbbells. So if you do not have dumbbells or a weight rack, you're going to do low rows. Done these before. Come in here. You can either do it supported or unsupported, depending on what you like. And pull up. Okay, so you're pulling up. You're not pulling like this. You're rotating at the lat. So it's really squeezing that lat. Boom. Boom. All right. So if you have dumbbells, walk with me here, Katie. Got a very, very, very decorated camera crew here today. <sighs> Fucking overpaid, though. Way overpaid. All right. So I'll start on my left hand so I can demonstrate. Because she's on my left. All right. So check it out. We're going to do supported today. Um, what we're going to do, we haven't done these in a while, so I'm going to show you what to do. Is we're not going to come up, just pull it up. We're not going to heave and hoe. We go with the natural motion right here. That is working your lat. When you do this, it does work your lat, but also brings in a lot more other shit. Come in here, grab it. One. Bring it back to your hip pocket. Notice how it's just that part moving. Again, get your stance. So for heavy unilaterals, I like to keep my form on point. Keep my reps lower because it equals more reps because you got two sides, right? So I like to do four sets, six to eight reps. Okay, so check it out. We've done everything for back. This is one, unless, even if you have a cable low row, fuck it. Get it out of here, I don't wanna see it. I want you to use bands for this one, I really do. I think they're superior for some movements and I like the straight curve. So we're gonna stand here, get a nice stretch, expand the scapula, pull it in, retract. Pull it in, retract. Focus on the squeeze. We're not just repping out. We're getting the squeeze. That's why we're not going high reps. Again, I want you to just do eight to 10 reps, but I want you to really squeeze at the top. That's our back day. So we're gonna finish with some squats. Sometimes I like to start with them, like maybe on a shoulder day or an arm day where it's not as exhausting. For back, I don't know what we're gonna do on squats, but what I want you to do is just do something. Whether it's one set of 135, one set of a 30, 135, 225. I don't want you to go over three to five sets. I just want you to hit it, get that nice movement, get the body moving. Because a lot of y'all who don't have jobs, or even if you do have jobs, a lot of y'all sit on your ass all day in your jobs, right? I want you to just utilize this squat, get your hips nice and fluid, nice and mobile, get that deep stretch at the bottom and help offset all the ass sitting you've been doing all day long or you're about to do all day long. So anyway, that's back. We'll hit a little bit of squats and then we'll finish this up. So check it out guys. So we're just gonna finish with squats. Now I worked one plate, two plate for five reps and three reps. Do three plates for two to three reps, okay? I'm not trying to get a leg workout in. I just wanna get a little stimulation, just get moving. Cause a lot of y'all are sitting on your ass all day long and I'm full all four daily squats, especially in the time that a lot of you guys aren't moving around. If you have an active job, that's fine. I still like squatting every day sometimes. And what a better time to do it. So anyway, we're gonna do this. Come in, boom, uh, your stance. Uh, so there is two easy reps, and I'm done for the day. So check it out, guys, we did back, a lot of back. A lot of back, a lot of bands, a lot of weights. Again, everything we do with weights, we do with bands. There you go, guys. We're moving on to some different stuff. Hopefully this helps even more people. See you guys tomorrow.